Northwest Indiana's 9 o'clock news. Lakeshore News Tonight. A storm spanning 25 states sets its sights on the region, creating Northwest Indiana's first snowfall of the season. Good evening, I'm Jody Jewell. Thank you for watching Lakeshore News tonight. As early as 5 p.m., reports of power outages in Illinois had Indiana authorities on alert with all eyes on the massive storm system circling the region for the past 24 hours. Hundreds of flights have already been canceled at O'Hare and Midway, and major delays are expected throughout the area heading into the holiday weekend. Meteorologist Matt Wins joins us now with a first look at the storm. Well, Jody, the first day of winter officially starts tomorrow, but well, Mother Nature had something in mind on her own, putting it ahead uh, well, 24 hours or so. Take a look at the extent of the system now. As you said, 25 states covered by watches and warnings. Uh, we had the rain around this morning, and then we had a lull this afternoon as expected, and well, we've got the snow wrapping back in. A closer look now, you can see some of that heavy rain, rainfall rates up to uh, an inch across the area, and then you see the snow wrapping back in. I think it's changed to mainly all snow across the region here this evening. We've got a few more hours worth of snow to deal with. But again, the big story going to be the wind with this. Wind starting to develop and coming up in your forecast will let you know how cold it gets tonight and how much snow you can expect in your backyard. Back to you, Joey. The local highway departments are patrolling the roads in snow plows and salt spreaders for the first time this season. Crews at the Porter County Highway Department in Valparaiso were making final preparations earlier today in anticipation of heavy rain and snow overnight. Crews filled trucks with salt and checked over equipment needed to keep the roads safe. Indiana State Police want to remind drivers they can also help keep everyone safe by using extra caution while driving in severe weather. They should slow down, be more cautious of, of their surroundings, use, use their turn signals when they're changing lanes or making turns. Uh, they should be aware of the weather. If it starts to rain or snow, definitely slow down and keep a safe distance from the vehicles in front of them. The Indiana Department of Transportation says the LaPorte District, which includes all of Northwest Indiana, uses over 80,000 tons of de-icing materials each year. Well, Indiana State Police are also offering some important tips for winter drivers tonight. Start by making sure your gas tank is at least half full. Pack an emergency kit of essentials. Keep that in your car. Have a cell phone and charger in your vehicle. Police say to allow more time and drive more slowly to make sure and make sure to clear all the snow from your vehicle before driving off. Probably the most important advice is to avoid abrupt speed changes and be cautious in places where ice melts slowly, such as on bridges and overpasses. And if you're stranded, stay with your vehicle. Tie a bright cloth to the antenna, clear the exhaust pipe outflow, crack a window for fresh air, and stay calm. Indiana Road Conditions information is available at 1-800-261-7623 or at trafficwise.in.gov. With winter weather on the way, towing companies are gearing up for whatever Mother Nature brings. WAFCO Towing specializes in heavy-duty towing and has 25 pieces of equipment ready to get the job done. The Lake Station Company works around the clock to do towing for state police on the toll roads I-65 and I-94. We spent most of today kind of prepping our trucks, uh, checking lights, chains, fueling up, just being prepared, trying to get ready for whatever they think might be coming. But, I mean, we can't do that on a weekly basis anyhow. Kevin Farthing says they have their regular crew scheduled for tonight as they have drivers 24-7 but have others on call. A Valparaiso woman is ticketed for hitting a Union Township school bus head-on. Porter County Sheriff's Police says off its officers responded to the collision at about 3.30 this afternoon. Police say that's when their review indicated that a school bus was going south on County Road 500 West when it was hit by a cheap Jeep going north. Both drivers and two children reported injuries. Police cited the Jeep driver for driving left of center, hitting the bus with 17 young passengers at the time.